buy all your willies and Jeep restoration parts at thejeepsterman.com because we're not just Jeepsters anymore. Hey guys, this is John at Jeepsterman. Uh, today we're working on a 1967 Jeepster convertible. Pretty rare vehicle. Uh, 67 is the first year that they made the Jeepster. And for the Jeepster convertible in the 67, they called it just a, they called it a Jeepster uh, convertible. This one here, you'll also, sometimes people will refer to it as an 8701. So the first four digits on the VIN plate, um, 8701 for the convertible. So if you hear somebody say 8701, 8701, that's what they're referring to. Uh, this Jeepster here, we, we bought, my dad and I purchased this. The engine in this thing needed to be rebuilt, so we're rebuilding, we're in the process. The engine has been rebuilt. We just put this engine in transmission back in this one yesterday, and we're hooking everything up. We put the transfer case in there today, and then the front clip, reassembling all the engine on this thing. So we'll walk around and just talk about this thing real quick. So this Continental, the, the convertible, these are special. Um, they did have a hard top model and they had a convertible, is what you usually see. So a true convertible had this convertible frame um, with it, had the top and everything. This is completely different than what you would call a soft top. This is not a soft top. Soft tops and convertibles are different. The tub on a convertible on the inside is actually different for the um, convertible top mechanism to go up and down in it. it. Has these rear quarter window windows that are different. Many differences between the convertible and a regular Jeepster Commando. We get asked that quite a bit. Um, you can see most of these came with, they were a two-tone option, most of them, but not all of them. And then most of them had trim on it. So you can see this trim that it came with that was special. These convertibles usually had some nice uh, accessories to them. You know, this one, you can see this texture on the door. That was what they called deluxe. You can see chrome around some of the framing and stuff. You don't see that on the regular Jeepster Commandos. I've seen some of these with air conditioning, um, automatics. Automatics were quite common in Jeepster Commandos in general. The 225 V6, you pretty much see in 95% of the Jeepster Commandos out there. Uh, most of the transmissions were either the Turbo 400 automatic or you see the um, T86. This one actually has the very rare T86 remote shift, so it has a console with a remote shift three speed, which is pretty cool. It was kind of meant to compete with the, um, uh, like the Mustangs and Camaros, it was supposed to be a similar type transmission and supposed to be for, sporty and fun to drive, so they had that console shift, which is pretty cool. You don't see that very common um, at all. So we'll just keep going down this vehicle. And the convertibles, so the earlier convertibles, they had this deck lid and they would have had a continental kit. You will see some of the later, like around 1970, and you really won't, they're, they're very rare. There was an austere that did not have a deck lid and did not have the Continental kit. So the majority of the time, when you see a Jeepster convertible, it's gonna have the um, deck lid on it, it's gonna have the Continental kit, and it will have a spare tire here. So I don't have the spare tire there. And some people don't know, but the tailgate on a convertible is not actually functional. You can't open that tailgate. So on a regular Jeepster Commando, you can open the tailgate, but this one you cannot. So we'll just keep going down this vehicle here um, again this one this one's pretty nice this one's been restored doesn't need to be cleaned up mirrors we'll talk about mirrors real quick we get asked they only had a mirror on the driver's side a lot of people think they're supposed to have a mirror on the passenger side they did not however I've seen in some dealer photos where they did what I assume is that the dealer probably put mirrors um, on the passenger side of some of these vehicles. But originally, my understanding is they did not come with it. Now, if you add a mirror to the passenger side, it's purely gonna be for aesthetics. It will not work. You will not be able to see out of it. But if you want one to make the vehicle look like you have mirrors on both sides, that's fine. Just realize that a mirror on the other side, you will not actually be able to see out of it. Another unique feature that you see on the earlier Jeepster um, and Jeepster Commandos, the V6 emblem is up here. 
on the Jeepster Commandos, the later ones, you normally saw it right in here in this area. Uh, but on these earlier ones, it's here. Something else on a 67 that's unique is this plate is supposed to be, uh, and this one's not, but this plate is supposed to be smooth and not have any ribs in it on a 67, which will help you tell the difference. So that is pretty much it on this one. We'll do a few videos of us, us getting this thing back together. And um, we thank you guys for watching. You can find all our videos on YouTube. Our website is thejeepsterman.com and our email is sales at thejeepsterman.com. Thanks. To get a free copy of the Willys and Jeep Restoration Parts Catalog from the Jeepster Man, go to www.thejeepsterman.com and order your free copy today. <laughs>